Well, let's go right on to the next caller, Barbara. Who do we have on the line? Roger, we have Socorro, and uh, she was involved in an auto accident about two years ago, and the insurance company is denying liability. What was that name again? Socorro. Socorro. Uh huh. All right. Thank you, Barbara. Well, let's talk to Socorro. Socorro, this is Roger Reed Miller of Lori on the Line. How can I help you? Uh, yeah, well, I was in a car accident about two years ago, and the uh, other insurance company is denying the claim for some reason. And uh, they had, uh, my insurance company told me to contact the other insurance company, and as far as I knew, you were not supposed to contact them. No, you can, but tell me what happened in the accident. Uh, well... I was uh, going to a friend's house, and this lady, she was in a hurry to take her daughter to a concert, and she took a left turn right in front of me. And wow. Hmm. Well, okay, and so what kind of damages did you sustain as a result of that? Well, my truck was killed, and I suffered back injuries. What was the date of your injury accident? Oh, uh, what was it, the bike run? Uh, November. Well, this we're it's coming up. The bike run two years ago. Well, we're coming up on November. This is yeah. October thirtieth. You do understand that we have a two-year statute of limitations, which means you need to make a decision. You need to do something quickly. Okay. Um, how fast were you driving? I was actually doing a little under the speed limit. And what was the speed limit where this accident happened? Thirty. And I take it this was at an intersection where she turned left in front of you? Yes. Okay. Well, it certainly seems to me, Socorro, that this accident clearly was not your fault based upon what you have told us here tonight. I'm certain that the police report, uh, if it backs you up, will support that uh, conclusion. And we basically are going to come down to a question, what are the damages that can be proven to within a reasonable degree of medical probability. This is one of those situations, though. Um, was there any reason that you waited two years to make a decision on this one? Well, no, I thought it had been handled. Well, but nobody from the other insurance company has offered any settlement, have they? No, they haven't. Well, you have two years to get that settlement That's taken care of. That's why I thought of. it was settled until my insurance contacted me last week. No. You probably ought to sit down with an attorney. What kind of back injuries did you suffer? Uh, well, from the sudden stop and the, uh, what do you call it, the airbag. Well, did you have an MRI on your back? No, I didn't go to the hospital since I didn't have any insurance or anything. Have you had any medical treatment? Uh, yes, I went to a chiropractor. Okay. Well, you, first thing Monday morning, you should contact an attorney, get with an attorney right away. Um, your Whatever date it was in November, uh, it's two years from that date, and uh, November starts Tuesday, so uh, you have a sh very, very short statute of limitations here for your case, uh, and you need to get something on file to protect your rights. Otherwise, uh, even if you have a legitimate case, uh, it will be lost if the case isn't on file. All right? Thank you for that phone call. I appreciate the question.